Hey guys, Jake here, and lately, if you watch my channel, I'm sure you've noticed this trend lately on YouTube of racing game essays. Specifically, essays talking about the decline of the racing game genre. There's a large range of YouTubers talking about this issue, including YouTubers with hundreds of thousands of subscribers to basically newcomers. And I feel like I see a new one pop up several times every single week. However, one thing I find myself frustrated by with these videos is that they mainly are describing the decline of the racing game genre, but not going into why this actually happened. Why did certain franchises die? Why did Need for Speed get less experimental? Why did sim racing become so comfortable in its space? Along with plenty of other questions. Most of the issues seem to be blamed on the game's publisher, or even the game's developers if they're considered to be lazy. These things lead to unhappy players, and that's why we've seen a gigantic flood of racing game essay videos talking about the decline of the genre. But no one has talked about the real issue. The real reason why racing games have declined. Yes, I'm aware and I'm fed up about the lack of new IP, the death of so many beloved franchises, greedy publishers, weird development decisions, lack of care from the rest of the gaming community. Listen, more trailers need just straight gameplay, but this is the most boring game. This is the one game that doesn't need the gameplay. Yeah. <laughs> Developers being complacent in franchises like Forza Horizon and much more. But the real reason why racing games have declined is the fact that there's no fast traffic cheat from LA Rush. The lack of fast traffic cheats in modern racing games is a perfect example of publishers not wanting to take any risks, developers forgetting to implement interesting features in their games, and the players, yes, you suck too, don't notice cheat codes. This is the perfect example of wild, crazy fun that is just not allowed in modern racing games, especially combined with the fact that arcade street racing games have taken a massive decline in quality and quantity, LA Rush's fast traffic cheat is a perfect example as to why racing games just used to be more fun back in the day. So I'm sure you can already understand why this is so important by just watching the gameplay on screen. The Even the bone! The bone! <laughs> <laughs> but if you're stupid, I'll explain it to you instead. As you can see, the game, upon entering the cheat code, immediately turns into a wild, chaotic mess, reminiscent of the real Los Angeles as I've been there. Cars start flying everywhere. Cops start flying everywhere. You not only have to dodge traffic, but you have to dodge traffic that where every driver is driving a flying car while having a panic attack. This makes racing so challenging. And that challenge is something that is so forgotten in modern games. And in fact, it demonstrates an issue with society at large. And this cheat is something that you would only find in a 2000s or before game, because cheat codes don't really exist in modern gaming because publishers suck and just want to ruin my day. So since a game like LA Rush wouldn't really fly today, the game has been delisted from digital storefronts and is not available to play on modern Xbox consoles. So this means we should campaign for LA Rush to get a remaster. Screw Need for Speed Most Wanted. Screw Blur. Screw Forza Horizon 1. Screw all those games, they all suck compared to LA Rush. And it's all because of their lack of fast traffic cheats. And that is a perfect example of why old racing games were so good and why they've declined so much today. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys later.